here, I played this Bliss game against Grandmaster Benjamin Feingold on chess.com the other day, and I, there was this really cool position. And I'm trying to show, it started out a bit funny, I go bishop d3 first, um, and he goes bishop b7, which makes it weird, because it's like, wait, how do you get a stone wall from here? But he fee in shadows, and then this position, so queen e2, I'm trying to push e4. So if they don't go d5 in the stone wall, always try to push e4. If you get that center, um, you're already better. And whenever you play d4, you're always trying to push e4. So d5, knight e5, and now we're kind of back to a normal stone wall. Uh, so he goes knight e4 early, and I, I don't want to go knight d2, because I can never really win a pawn here. With this bishop here, you cannot overpower this knight. So what I do is I bishop swing, I bring the bishop over here, and he goes f6. This f6 idea is actually like a pretty important and dangerous idea, and I'm going to show you exactly how to counter it. So you take, take, and I go knight d2. The reason I go knight d2 is when he goes e5, I want to go knight takes, pawn takes, and then bishop check. Now, bishop check, he doesn't want to block with the bishop because there's all kinds of, like, I take here and then I get this line of fire and these pawns are kind of weak and this pin is really dangerous. So, after bishop check, they, they, they slide over and then I take I take this way because I want to develop a tempo. So, take, take, and now I bring the rook in. The rook comes in hitting the queen. Queen's got to move. And now don't take because you take and you bring their piece forward. So, I just go bishop g3. So, bishop g3, he goes rook d8 and that's when I realized there's too many things attacking each other. We got the rooks facing off, we got the bishops warring the, the sorry, the bishop attacking the bishop, and this queen is at the center of all, defending everything. So when you see like an overloaded piece like this, a piece that's just doing too much, um, a lot of times it's going to be attacked. So if you want, you can pause here and try to find the win. Um, but right now, I'm going to show you the killer shot for white. So I go rook takes, he cannot go queen takes. So I take here, and I was checked. Remember, this bishop cuts off all the white squares, so you'd have to block, and that's just game over. So rook takes, he has to go rook takes, and then I have rook d7. I'm blind to you, haters. Can't touch me, war instigators. Just because this bishop takes bishop check and checkmate threat are just way too strong. So rook d7, and the other important part is if he doesn't take, if he moves his queen away, I can take this bishop, which is handy. So rook d7, he goes um, queen f6. And here I just take. Now I could have taken here first, I don't think it really mattered, but the reason I took here is when he takes here, now I don't have to worry about back rank, because I always have king h2. So I let him take on g3, so that I don't have to worry about back rank, which is going to help me out. Now when you get these positions, these winning positions, a lot of people panic, especially the first time playing Grandmaster. So what you want to do is really just try to keep it simple. Basically you're overloaded with information, and you're, it's just hard for you to process so much because now your emotions are involved. So just simplify. So I go rook f7, let's trade. He trades. Perfect. So I give him this pawn. But the reason why is now I can go queen f2, and now I'm threatening uh, queen f6 checkmate. And now my pieces are becoming more active. He goes here, I come back. And now queen f8 check is checkmate. Uh, so another thing is you have to keep on the offensive. Even if it's like trading and simplifying, that's still offensive. Uh, it's, it's still playing offense because you have a better position and it takes away, it like sucks the life out of their attack. So I go check, he has to go here, if king h8, uh, either of these moves are checkmate, and then here, now you have a really easy transition. Maybe I can go queen f8 and try to checkmate him. But why do that when you're up a piece? And I can just trade off the queen. So trade, trade, and then here, you still have to make sure that they do not have counterplay. So if he goes king g4, now these pawns start getting weak. Probably I'm fine, but I don't want to let him in. So bishop check, king here. Uh, king here. Once again, do not take. If you take, you bring the king in. This way, if I go here and he takes, he brings my king in. And now I win all the pawns, and then here you just gotta make sure you don't fall for some kind of weird pre-move. And then don't give away the piece. I see people like, just try to simplify it and they end up losing everything in the process. Bishop f3. I'm getting all these pawns. So I take, I take, and then here, kind of the last trick that you gotta watch out for is b3, so you're not pre-move like king takes b4. I was getting a little bit low on time here, like 20, 30 seconds left. So this take, and then you just make a queen. And then, <laughs> um, just to finish, and people are really sneaky, especially at the higher level, you have to be very careful not to stalemate. So here, every move, I think I still have 10 seconds left. So all I have to do is make sure there's no stalemate. So this, this, and then here, and now, I mean, in, in three minute chess, in one minute chess, these little details actually matter a lot. So I can keep pushing, but when I see the king cut off in the last row, I'm just going to go queen check, king here, and now I can pre-move. I, I pre-move my king here, and then queen g2 is always checkmate, because this king's going to be on these two squares. So I can pre-move. 
king d3, king e2, king f2, and then queen g2 mate, and there's nothing to worry about. Uh, I, yeah, I pushed for a second, and I realized I got him cut off, and then boom. Um, you, you, you walk the king and you get the checkmate. So the stonewall, I think very, very fun opening. I think I know it to the level where it's, it's really dangerous. Um, and as you can see, it can still work at the higher level. So here, just last time, the last, just to, a recap of the shot. So take, take, rook take, and then rook d7, g, g. So hope you guys enjoyed that video, and hope you guys were entertained.